Happy holidays everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're going to be making the Wookie Ookies from the Star Wars Holiday Cookbook. The ingredients we're going to need are 3 cups of all-purpose flour, a half of a cup of white granulated sugar, a half of a cup of packed light brown sugar, two sticks or one cup of butter that I've softened to room temperature, two tablespoons of molasses, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, one whole egg, a fourth of a teaspoon of nutmeg, a fourth of a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking powder, and one teaspoon of cinnamon, as well as a gingerbread man cookie cutout, and some white and black icing. And these are all of our ingredients. The first thing we need to do to start our cookies is to go ahead and incorporate our salt, our nutmeg, our cinnamon, and our baking powder into our flour, and just whisk these until they are well combined. Once you're happy with how well they're whisked together, go ahead and set those over to the side. In the bowl of a stand mixer, or you can use a hand mixer if you don't have one of these, go ahead and combine your butter and your sugar, and then you're going to want to whip these for about five minutes or until they're nice and light and fluffy. Once you've gotten your butter and sugars creamed together, go ahead and add in your egg. The vanilla extract and your molasses and then go ahead and mix these until they're all thoroughly combined. After you have your egg and molasses combined into your sugar and butter mixture go ahead and slowly start mixing in your flour and you want to do this in small stages you don't want flour going all over your kitchen. So probably about a third of it I'm going to add in and I'm going to go ahead and slowly start incorporating this in. And we only want to do this until the flour is just incorporated into our butter and sugar. After the machine has done the majority of the work for us, I do like to go back in and make give it a nice good hand stir just to make sure all that flour did get incorporated and that there's no flour sticking at the bottom of my bowl. Once you have everything incorporated together, go ahead and divide your dough into two disc shapes and wrap them in cling fill. Once you have your discs wrapped up, go ahead and pop them into the refrigerator for about an hour. We need our dough to firm up just a little bit and for that butter to get cold again. If we tried to bake them now, they'd just spread all over our cookie sheet and we wouldn't end up with any cute looking little wookies. So I'll see you when these are ready. Now that our dough has rested for about an hour in the refrigerator, it is now firm enough to go ahead and start rolling it out. I've only removed one of my discs for right now, and I'm going to go ahead and flour it up as well as my rolling pin. And we want to roll these out to about 1 4th inch thickness. Alright, now that I've got it rolled out to 1 4th inch, I'm going to go ahead and take my gingerbread cookie cutter, dip it in a little bit of the flour so it doesn't stick, and we're going to start pressing out as many gingerbread min shapes as we can. Now if they stick to your cookie cutter, go ahead and just gently press them out and transfer them to either a parchment lined cookie sheet or you can use a sill pad as well and just continue cutting these out until you've gotten as many shapes as you can. Once you've gotten as many shapes cut out as you can, go ahead and bring your scraps all back together and roll it out again. If it starts getting too warm, go ahead and pop it back into your refrigerator for about 15 minutes just to help this dough re-chill. Once you have all your little wookies cut out, we need to give them a little bit of fur so either use the back of a table knife or these decorating tools to go in and give them just a little bit of fur. And we're going to do that by just going in and pressing it gently into the dough. These can all be random patterns. You want to make each Wookiee look a little bit different than the others. 
right guys, once you're satisfied with the fur on your Wookiees, go ahead and pop them into a 350 degree oven and let them bake for roughly 10 minutes. Just be sure to check them and maybe turn them around about halfway through the bake time just to ensure that they cook evenly and they will be done once they are starting to turn a light golden brown on the bottom. Once your little Wookiees are out of the oven, go ahead and transfer them over to a wire rack and allow them to cool for about 20 minutes. And now it's time to decorate them. And all we need are, actually I think it's easier to start with the white and go in and try and make a jagged little mouth as best as you can. And you want a top lip and a bottom lip here. And then you go up with a little bit of black for his eyes. And definitely he needs a nose as well. And just do your best to try and make them look like a little Wookiee. So I'm going to go ahead and continue decorating the rest of these and then we'll give them a try and see what we think about them. I've got all of our little Wookiees decorated and now all we have left to do is give them a try. I think this one looks about the most Wookiee-ish out of all of them. So we're going to try him with a nice big tall glass of milk. I do recommend that you stick more towards the 10 minute baking time on these. I did allow them to go a little bit longer in the oven just because I didn't feel that they were quite done. And as a result, they have turned out to be much harder than what they probably should have been. The flavors going on here are very subtle. I don't get any one overwhelming flavor over another. They're all very well balanced. And I do really like this cookie and would recommend that you give it a try. If you would like to be a part of the Gamers and Geeks playlist, leave me a comment down below. And I'll be more than happy to tell you how you can be a part of that list. Speaking of the playlist, be sure to go and check out the link I've provided down in the description box below and help support all of the fine creators that have helped make that list possible. If you guys have enjoyed this video, leave me a comment down below. If you guys try this recipe out, let me know how it turned out for you. And as always, thank you all so very much for joining me today. I've been Vault Girl. I hope you guys have enjoyed and I hope I'll see you in the next one.